Street Fighter VI celebrated its one year anniversary on Sunday and already we're getting discussion about what's going to happen with DLC. We've got two leaks, one as far as the actual DLC of supposed players that are coming and one of the actual character pass logo. Also included is some details about what the director actually said teasing what's to come, so let's get to it. So since Street Fighter VI release, we've already had about four DLC extra characters release. We've had Rashid, we've had AKI, Ed, and then just recently we had Akuma. Now, some of those are fan favorites. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about those characters. Are those some of the ones that you were waiting for? So with that DLC out of the way, what does Street Fighter VI year two have in store for us? Well, director Takayuki Nakayama, that was, I had to practice that guys. He's been kind of teasing here and there what we might actually see. And he actually sat down for an interview with a Japanese magazine called Famitsu. And here are some of the details that he kind of went through in that interview. So they asked him, finally, give me your thoughts going into the game's second year. He says, thank you for continuing to play throughout this year. Games are meant to be played, so we will work our hardest to keep developing the game so that you can keep having as much fun as possible. For now, we'll be avoiding any reveals on the year two characters but please look forward to the official reveal. I'm sure that when you see them, you'll be surprised enough to go, huh, what are they doing? Of course, I can't make any specific comments yet, but I think you'll find there to be more unexpected characters. So even without saying a whole lot, he's saying quite a bit. And so we know that one more characters are on the way. Of course, I would hope so. I mean, the Street Fighter games, they last a long time players continue to play them so at least within the first two hopefully three maybe longer we continue to get characters for this game but i mean he's going on to say that you know while he can't say much he's letting you know that when you get them we will be surprised and pleased so looking forward to that now moving on to the juice of why you probably picked on this video is because of the leaks so the first leak involves the year two past character logo that was leaked on twitter by user at Prince, hoping I'm saying this right, Print Sakira. And it is in Portuguese, so it's um, assuming Brazilian. So basically all she did is she posted a picture, uh, kind of like a screen capture showing it says Street Fighter VI year two character pass, what would, you know, obviously be like a, a screenshot. So that's basically what was posted. Now it's very similar to, I guess, what the year one looked like. So that's similar to what we can expect. That's probably what's gonna happen. So we have that leaked. Again, nothing too big with that one, but it does give us hope that something soon is coming. So with saying all that, the characters <laughs> that were leaked come from our lovely, lovely, lovely Anonymous, okay, from 4chan, Anonymous. And this is supposedly a Japanese code that was leaked that was translated in English letting it all hang out there as far as what characters and or you know country of origins they come from so this is titled street fighter 6 alleged dlc 2 leak leak allegedly comes from capcom europe exact country unknown and it's an english translation of the original japanese code however the leaker claims it may not be the final version so take with a huge grain of salt and it says he comments below and they post a picture which i have here of the code and you can see on there, it says, you know, if you're you know, new to code, this is how it's kind of written. So it's like name of the thing and then the country and then the actual, you know, so on and so on. So we have Lara from Brazil. We have Jaka, I guess I'm saying that right, or Jaka, Jaka from Indonesia. We have Maki or Maki from Japan. And we have Fei Long from Hong Kong. And it goes on to say fighting styles, but you kind of can't read that. So all we have are the characters and then the country of origin. So it goes on to say, data mine shows three returning characters, Lara, Maki, and Fei Long, and a new character from Indonesia named Jaka. But like I said, it's alleged that this was during the early development time of the game, and these may not end up actually being the characters, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, people were commenting on this and on Reddit, because this is also shared on Reddit, and a user by the name of I Am The Jedi Outcast said, the two other leaks I've read were, they stated development on season two characters shortly after release another team. So the gaps between DLC characters won't be as crazy as the gap we got from AKI to Ed because it was quite a bit of time. And it goes, he says, we're supposedly getting five to six characters this season instead of four. That's always cool. The more the merrier, right? 
But I don't think number one was a leak. Wasn't it actually said by Nakayama himself during the Game Informer interview? I can't remember where I heard that. So we know that obviously from director Nakayama that new characters are coming. We know the logo is kind of ready to get the ball rolling. Are these the characters that we're actually going to get? A lot of people in the comments did not think it was true. Always take things with a grain of salt. It's just for fun discussion, guys. Don't take it too seriously. But it is interesting to see that we are going to get, you know, three characters that we've had prior in prior games and supposedly a brand new character. Now, just like I say in my Mortal Kombat videos, when it comes to brand new characters, I think it's fine as long as, you know, they kind of have... I don't like just having new characters just to have new characters, like have them mean something. You know, you let me in the comments down below if you believe that kind of thing too. Like, I don't want new characters just for the sake of new characters. Like there are a lot of characters again in the Street Fighter catalog you can pull from. So we don't need to be just be, you know, creating characters to create characters. We've already had some new characters already in this game. So I don't know that we need additional ones. But other than that, we might be able to get some type of reveal. I don't know if it's gonna be exactly soon, but Summer Game Fest is coming up on Friday. And Street Fighter 6 is supposed to make a present. So could we possibly get a year or two trailer introducing these characters? It's possible. We'll have to kind of wait and see. So what do you think about this? What do you think about the leaks? What do you think about director Nakayama saying in the, in the interview with uh, Famitsu? Are you excited for year two and what's to come? That's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed that like button, if you want more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time on The Mashup.